Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are here visiting Dealey Plaza, the site of John F. Kennedy's assassination here in Dallas, Texas. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting the site of John F. Kennedy's assassination. The goal of this video is twofold. First, I wanna tell you a little bit about this infamous event in American history. Secondly, I wanna walk around and show you some of the key event locations. So if that interests you, come with me. Now, before we start walking around and I show you some of the key event locations, I think it would be useful for us to stop for a second and cover some of the basic information of those events and how they unfolded that day. So let's do that right now. For those of you who are not from the US, John F. Kennedy was the 35th US president. He was assassinated on Friday, November 22nd, 1963. That year, the president was on a campaign tour for re-election. I'm not going to go deep on the political landscape at the time, frankly I'm not the right person to do that, but let's just say that there were some tensions. For example, a month prior, the US ambassador to the United Nations, Adlai Stevenson, visited Dallas to give a speech and was physically attacked. The president's advisors were aware of this, but nobody expected what would ultimately happen that day. John F. Kennedy was riding a presidential motorcade through Dealey Plaza. That is the location we are visiting today, along his wife and the Texas governor at the time. He was shot from the now Dallas County Administration building, which is very close to the site. He received two shots, one in the neck and one on the head, and the Texas governor was shot on his back. The culprit was a US Marine veteran, Lee Harvey Oswald, who shot three times. Immediately, the motorcade transferred the president to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead 30 minutes after the shooting. 70 minutes after the shooting, Oswald was detained. That Sunday, Oswald was being transferred to the county jail in live TV coverage when a local club owner shot him. Oswald had a similar faith to John F. Kennedy and died at the hospital. After the assassination, there was a committee established to conduct an investigation. The investigation began in 1963 and ended in 1978. Ultimately, it concluded that Kennedy was shot as a result of a conspiracy. This is now discredited by the US Justice Department and therefore a very controversial topic, as you can imagine. To this day, there are a ton of other conspiracy theories about the event, some that involved foreign governments, others that involved organized crime, and others that claim to have identified an additional gunman. Since then, there have been different polls conducted that show that a large portion of the US population believe there was a plot or cover-up. The information I just shared with you, or most of it, I should say, comes from the John F. Kennedy Library website. There's a lot more information out there. There's articles, there's documentaries, and other resources. So if you want to learn more, look into that. What I want to do now is go ahead and walk around Dealey Plaza and show you some of the key event locations and tell you a bit more about them. Let's go do that right now. The first location I want to show you today is Dealey Plaza. This whole area right there is where the presidential motorcade was passing by. Being here, you guys, I can almost imagine people gathering on this side of the plaza right behind me and also across the street over that way. If I'm being honest, I think I would have been so scared if I was a witness of that event. I mean, could you imagine? People didn't know what could have happened right after those horrific events. The next location I want to show you is Elm Street. 
This is where the presidential motorcade was passing through that day. And that X mark you see on Elm Street is the estimated, quote unquote, exact location where the assassination happened. And I don't know about you guys, but just the fact that we marked the exact location of the assassination makes it more interesting and creepy at the same time. In preparation for my visit, I read a lot on the event and coming here in person, looking at the exact location, it makes it feel as if you're looking at the events with your own eyes. So it's kind of freaky. It also makes me think about how anything can happen at any time and how there's some crazy and unpredictable people out there. So stay safe, guys. Up next, we are visiting the Dallas County Administration Building, that building that you see behind me. That is the building from where Oswald is believed to have shot three times. The quote unquote exact location from where he fired is the last window to the right on the sixth floor. That window right there. That floor is now the home of a museum that provides historical context for the events of November 22nd, 1963 and the aftermath of the assassination. It's another great place to visit if you want more details. Last but definitely not least, we are visiting the Grassy Knoll, that area that you see right across the street. The reason why the Grassy Knoll became relevant to the events is because a reporter supposedly heard Secret Service agents mention of the possibility of gunfire coming from this area. Many witnesses of the event were interviewed, with some saying that they did hear gunshots coming from this area, while others say they didn't. That information is of course not verified, so people to this day wonder if the Grassy Knoll had any part in this horrific event. For this reason, the term Grassy Knoll has become a slang expression that means suspicion, conspiracy, or a cover-up. I'm gonna go ahead and go through that structure and see what I can find. I'm guessing that there's gonna be plaques around here that tell you more about the significance of this place. And uh, I think I see one right there. Let's go check it out. Oh, I see, that is a quote from John F. Kennedy. So it says right there, you guys, that this paragraph right here is part of the speech that he was supposed to give that day. Another very interesting thing about the Grassy Knoll is the fact that you can actually see three other locations that we've covered in previous videos. I'm gonna go ahead and go around to see if you can identify any of them. Let me know. That right there you guys is the Bank of America Plaza that is in fact the tallest building in the city of Dallas which we covered in our first video where we go around really cool and interesting locations in downtown. That castle looking structure you guys is the Dallas County Courthouse. We also covered it in our first video. That is Reunion Tower. We actually did our last video on that location so definitely check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. I really love how all the videos that I've made around this place so far are interconnected. That is awesome. you guys we get to the end of the video here hopefully you enjoyed i strongly recommend that you check out all of the locations that we covered today they're very close to each other so it shouldn't take you a long time if you enjoyed the video as much as i did i'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting and cool adventure videos just like this one and just to remind you to always be kind have an open mind i'll see you next time